Boys and girls, stand for the pledges. Right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands, one Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty to all who believe. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide his word in my heart that I might not sin against God. Bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. For the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets went clear, the bombs bursting in air gave proof to the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Boys and girls, we are going to review some of the Bible verses. F, fear not, for I am with thee. H, honor thy father and thy mother. B, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be safe. G, God is love. K, keep thy tongue from evil. M. My son, give me thine heart. N. No man can serve two masters. T. Thou God seest me. W. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. The Bible verse this week. Zion heard and was glad. Psalms 97 verse 8. Zion heard and was glad. Psalms 97 verse 8. Together class, Zion heard and was glad. 
Psalms 97 verse 8. Again, together, Zion heard and was glad. Psalms 97 8. One last time. Zion heard and was glad. Psalms 97 8. John 3 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, and whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. One more time. Together, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Blotted them out. God has blotted them out. I'll turn to Isaiah and see. Chapter 24, 22 and 3. He's blotted them out, and now I can shout, for this means me. In whose home? Did Jesus often visit as he traveled through Bethany? When Jesus traveled through Bethany, he often visited the home of Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. They were his closest friends in Bethany. Yes, he did have other friends, but he always visited with Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. What did Mary do that Jesus said would always be remembered? What did Mary do that Jesus said would always be remembered? Mary felt that she must find some way to show Jesus that the overwhelming love and devotion that, her, that had filled her heart. She wanted to do something very special. She had a beautiful jar of precious perfumes. And when Jesus was having dinner, Mary gently walked up to him. She broke the top of the jar and poured the expensive and rare perfume on him. Jesus said Mary would always be remembered for that because she had poured this perfume on Jesus' body in preparation for burial. When Jesus heard that Lazarus was sick, what did he do? When Jesus heard that Lazarus was sick, what did he do? When Jesus received the message that Lazarus was sick, Jesus stayed where he was for two days and made no move to go with them. Sorry, to go to them. Then after that, he said to his disciples, let's go to Jediah. 
What did Mary say to Jesus when he did come to see about Lazarus? What did Mary say to Jesus when he came to see about Lazarus? She said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Mary looked at Jesus and she said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. She bowed down at his feet and cried. It seemed that every time we see Mary, she is at the feet of Jesus when she poured the expensive perfume on his head and feet, she knelt and dried his feet with her hair. This was bowing in worship. Then when Jesus came to see her home to visit, she sat at his feet to hear his word. Here in her sorrow, she fell down at her feet, at his feet, once again. After Jesus called Lazarus, come forth. What happened? After Jesus called Lazarus, come forth. What happened? All eyes turned toward the mouth of the cave. There was a rustling outside, sorry, inside. Something, someone was moving about. Surely it could not be, but it was. A moment later, Lazarus appeared at the entrance. He was a shocking sight with his hands and feet still bound in the grave clothes. The people gasp in awe, staring in amazement at this wonderful thing Jesus had done. It's bubbling, it's bubbling, it's bubbling in my soul. They're singing and laughing since Jesus made me whole. Folks don't understand it, no, I can keep it quiet. It's bubbling, 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 bubbling day and night. Little friends of Jesus. We are little children, very young indeed. But the Savior's promise each of us may plead If we seek Him early, if we come today We can make His little friends, He has had His name